So here's another version of the decoy MOSFET driver. Um, what I've done with this one is added on the bootstrap capacitor, which is that yellow tantalum capacitor on the right hand side. And also there's a diode there, it's a 1N4005 I think, and that's charging the bootstrap capacitor. Now this is in preparation for my next MOSFET tutorial where I want to show how an n-channel MOSFET on the high side of the circuit can be interfaced to a microcontroller using the decoy driver with that bootstrap capacitor and that's what I'm doing here. Now the interesting thing about this is that um, the source pin of the MOSFET is moving up and down in voltage. That high side of the load, which is my bulb, is switching when the bulb is on from 12 volts to when the bulb is off at zero volts and because the gate needs to be positive with respect to source the gate is actually swinging from zero to about 24 volts and I wanted to try and show that and so what I've done is I've put my DVM on the uh, MOSFET gate which is that yellow point there to ground and if you look at the DVM it's flicking from naught to 23.8 and I mean there's nowhere in this circuit where there is 24 volts it's simply the voltage uh, across that capacitor which doesn't really change it just stays at 12 volts constantly um, the negative side of that capacitor is connected to source so of course as source shoots up the positive side of that capacitor uh, also shoots up and goes to about 24 volts um, anyway that was just a quick look at the uh, decoy driver in the holy grail of uh, MOSFET circuit configurations, which is N-channel high side, switching the load bulb on and off um, using the addition of the bootstrap circuit. And uh, someone did ask me, was there any particular reason why I used a tantalum capacitor um, in the bootstrap circuit? And uh, no, no particular reason. Well, there is there is a reason, and it's this. I've got uh, quite a lot of them.